Hey all, it's uh, Pete from Tomlinson's Property Services and DIY Home Help. Hope you're all good and well. Um, we've been asked quite a few questions about uh, fillers, polyfillers, um, interior and exterior, and what, what I use, what I prefer to use. Now we're not sponsored by these at all, but it's a particular brand that I like. It's, tr it's, it's tried and trusted from me. Um, you get it to sell your sort of DIY stores, um, sort of out and about. The difference in prices is astronomical when it comes to a ready mix polyfiller to um, a powdered one what you make mix up yourself now the good thing about today is we're going to save you some money uh, being a yorkshireman i'm as tight as a camel's arse in a sand sandstorm so i like saving money just like everybody else um, so it's quite easy to mix up um, and if you notice another little tip for you here is i'm using one of these little old margarine tubs absolute to god sense and never throw them away and it's good for recycling as you do uh, so a little bit of water as you say but no this is the filler here so what we're looking for is a consistency that sort of resembles like cheese bread now what you don't want to do is put this in your fridge and forget it isn't cheese bread so just made a, a little bit up here um, it makes a, a nice little receptacle for when you're actually using it as well so two minute job mixing it up and believe it or not i've just spotted an oil as i say in yorkshire so as and when you need it whap it in there when you use what you need to use you can save the rest of course we do that like saving money so a bit of cling film on top that'll stop the moisture evaporating lid on top and that'll save for weeks how good is that now don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button please because we can keep doing these videos for you now top bombing